Tennessee 34, Pitt 27. This one, of course, went to overtime. Keaton Slovis went out at the end of the first half, undisclosed injury. Uh, Nick uh, Patty was serviceable. Uh, let's see. Let's go on and pull up some stats here. He was 9 out of 20 for 79 yards. Obviously, it was a different ball game when he came in. Uh, Pitt was actually able to run the football, and that's – Tennessee does not have – a ton of things that they feel really good about as far as their defense goes. But they felt good about the rushing defense. Well, it, yes, and yes, it was okay. And no, it wasn't, right? You had eight sacks for negative 26 yards, I guess you could say, right? Because it's four quarterback rushes for negative 13 on each. But... um. The running back, 25 carries for 154 yards and one touchdown. I mean, he averaged 6.2 yards per touch on it. That's not great. That's not great. Uh, Tennessee did have a punt blocked. They had two fumbles that they lost. I mean, it was just the sign of a team that maybe wasn't quite ready for this, and yet they found a way to get it done, 34-27. to 27. It, was, it was rather impressive to me. Uh, let's look at some of the, the post-game stats. 5.4 yards per play to only 5 for Pitt. 416 total yards to 415 for Pitt. Uh, the two turnovers, of course, for both teams. Third down tries, Tennessee was better at the conversion rate. Uh, the fourth down tries, Pitt had five of them and converted two of them. So two out of five, 40%. You know. Scoring opportunities. Pitt had more drives inside the opponent 40-yard line, but they only scored 1.86. They couldn't finish the drives. Tennessee, on the other hand, four points per scoring opportunity. They had six of them. Uh, Pitt had the better field position, but overall, you know, once you get into overtime, it was a, it was a different deal. It was a different deal. I was, I was happy with this game. This this was a fun game. These two teams looked like they were, they were excited to play. Uh, yes, it it put a little damper on the game when Slovis went out. I wonder how different the result would be, but it looked like Tennessee was gaining uh, gaining uh, steam at that point. So. Eh, I mean, we'll we'll see. We'll see what ends up happening with these two teams. But I was, I enjoyed that ball game. I really did. I enjoyed that ball game. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app, and make sure to leave a nice five star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter at Gary W C E, and the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.